my favorite computer games of the late 90s and early 2000s. Welcome everyone to Gaming Tuesday. Growing up, probably one of my favorite platforms to play video games on was the computer. So I figured I would take the time today to share with you my top five favorite computer games that I ever played. To get this countdown started, the number five spot is going to be shared between two different games. The first game is the Oregon Trail and the second game is Treasure Cove. And honestly, these are the very first video games I can ever remember playing. I'll put a picture of Treasure Cove up here and the Oregon Trail right there. They were so much fun. They were learning games but it didn't really matter because they were just fun. They were fun to play. I played them over and over and over again. But growing up, it led me on to other titles. So here's number four. So unlike the previous two titles, I actually have copies of my number four favorite. And this one's split as well. This is between Roller Coaster Tycoon and Zoo Tycoon both the dinosaur and the regular animal edition. I don't know, but something about these games growing up with the ability to create your own theme park, manage your own theme park, put your own rides there, put your own animals there, do all that stuff was beyond entertainment for me and hundreds, hundreds of hours went into playing these games. So for number three is my second favorite Star Wars video game ever released on a PC, and this is Star Wars Empire at War. This is a real-time strategy game based in the world of Star Wars, the galaxies of Star Wars. This game was the shit. This game was the shit. I love this. There are so many mods out there. People added so many new skins, new textures, added different eras, everything like that. People still play this game. I love this game. There's even a point in this game when you're controlling the Empire, you can actually build multiple Death Stars and send them out on your way to do your bidding to destroy the Rebels. It's... If you're a Star Wars fan, trust me, you're going to love this game. And for number two is a game that I can't seem to find my copies of anywhere. They're probably up in the attic somewhere or they're up at my mom's house. But anyways, I'm talking about The Sims. The Sims 1, The Sims 2, heck, even The Sims 3, all the expansions, Sims Pet Life, Hot Date, Sim City, all that... Anything with The Sims I like. Like I said about Roller Coaster Tycoon, Zoo Tycoon, I like creating my own things. I like The Sims. I like the fact that you could create multiple houses in a neighborhood, create all these different people, make your own backstories, do whatever you want to do, live these people's lives. It was the best simulator, I think. The Sims was just awesome. One thing, personally, I wish they did was do some type of backwards compatibility for, like, the old Sims games on a console like Xbox or PlayStation, where, you know, you can add your walls in, you can add your wallpaper, your roof, do all the old cool things that you used to be able to do in The Sims on a console, not this whole kind of like social media, Facebook type of Sims games that are out now. Finally, for my number one favorite game, this is my number one favorite Star Wars game prior to the combat upgrade. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Star Wars Galaxies. This game right here, hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of hours I spent in this game. By far, this was the most immersive Star Wars game that you could ever experience. This was a massive multiplayer online role-playing game set in the Star Wars universe. This was like World of Warcraft, but with Star Wars, you had multiple planets to go to. You could explore the entire planet, explore different cities on the planet. You could build your own house. You could become a Jedi. You could become a bounty hunter. You could fly a ship. They had so many different expansions that they added to this game up until a certain point where they decided to erase everything that was out there, erase what people had been working at for like four or five years, and start fresh. Start with a whole new combat system. Everything was removed, everything was changed. That was a point where I lost interest in the game. Everybody lost interest in the game, and you can see from the point where they did the new combat expansion that the game tanked. And they eventually shut the servers down for this game. I don't know the exact date. I'll throw it right down here in the bottom. But they shut the servers down. There was a huge party at the end when everything was shutting down. There have been a couple attempts to recreate this game, to recreate the original feeling before the combat upgrade, to recreate everybody being able to go to all these different planets, but whoever was coding it, whoever was doing the, the process of redoing the game to make it how it was originally, never really had that many people jump in onto it. So when you would go into these worlds, when you would play the game, how it was originally, you would go there and there'd be nobody. There'd be like 10 people on the entire planet, 50 people on a server that would have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people on it. You would go on here, you go to Moss Eisley on a Friday night and there'd be a thousand people just standing inside the cantina and so much typing going on, so many just different things, you know, 
the computer would crash. Anyways, that's just a little recollecting of me. I kind of went off on a tangent there, but like I said, I love this game. This was my favorite game, and well, technically all these games were my favorite games because I love them so much. I would still play them right now. Heck, I'll probably even go boot one of them up right now just to play it. I'm thinking... Maybe Roller Coaster Tycoon. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for Gaming Tuesday. I will see you tomorrow for Adventure Wednesday. If you agreed with my choices, let me know by commenting down below. If you have a different choice of favorite computer game, let me know what that is. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Peace.